Ned Ryan is the CEO of American Majority. He joins us tonight. I'm just so struck by this, Ned. People have debates over policy, what's good for the country, what's not good for the country. I think honest people can disagree. I've changed my view on a lot of things. Right. I have never seen an announcement of such huge policies made without any reference at all to their effect on the American population. It's like that's not even up for discussion whether it's good for us. We're doing it. That's right. No, it's because it's very clear from their actions. It's, it's the American people are not even an afterthought. They're clearly not a priority. I mean, my thought as I'm listening to your monologue is, what's the point of co calling yourself a sovereign nation if there's no enforceable borders? Uh, if we're just going to tell the world, feel free to come and, and, and literally hop on our social welfare programs, which are failing, by the way. Which, oh, by the way, the, the, the other amazing part to me, Tucker, about this idiocy on the immigration front, we're literally going to be importing small cities of low-skilled or unskilled workers every month into our country in the face of automation. What are we gonna do when they're out of work, when their jobs are automated? Throw them onto our social welfare programs? How are we gonna fund that? Well, the American people are gonna get tax more, draconian taxes to actually fund it. You're gonna be working for the state before you know it. There is, there, there is nothing right now, and I would argue Republicans are the same way, that prioritizes the interests of the American worker and the American taxpayer. That's why Trump, I mean, the amazing part in all of this, Tucker, is that nobody in D.C., establishment, Democrats or Republicans, want to even ask the question, why did Trump win? Oh, I don't know, maybe because he stood up and said, hey, here's a shocking concept. Why don't we actually prioritize the American worker and the American taxpayer in advance and promote their interests and policies that do that? And nobody wants to ask that question. You don't even hear it. You don't even hear it raised. I mean, if you cared about the country, you and no matter what you're voting history was, you would say it's a pretty volatile time in American history. We actually could, you know, have real unrest. Maybe radical change is not a good idea a good right idea. now. Maybe we shouldn't change right. the way we vote or change who lives here by the millions overnight. Maybe that much volatility could break the country. I haven't heard one person say that. Where are the liberals of goodwill and good faith of, you know, patriotic liberals saying, let's just settle down for a second. Where are those people? Do they still exist? I mean, uh, serious question, Tucker. I'm not sure that they actually exist anymore as the left has completely taken over the Democratic Party. I mean, you, you made an interesting point. The fact that, that Biden made immigration, the, killing the Keystone Pipeline, removing the Mexico City language that now uses taxpayer dollars to fund overseas abortions, and oh, by the way, an executive order for biological males to go and, and play on girls' teams and be in their locker rooms shows his priorities. None of those have anything to do with any of the Americans' uh, priorities in regards to actually how do we get back to work, how do we stop exactly. these stupid lockdowns, how do we go back to normal? And it showed all of his priorities are the far left because they've taken over the party. There aren't any rational liberals left inside the Democratic Party, and if they are, they've been silenced. I don't think there's a single survey you can find, a real one, that shows any of those issues on the top ten list for anybody. For anybody. No. Only the super nope. unhappy activist groups whose lives depend on pushing for some new and exotic attack on nature are in favor of this. It's, it's really a triumph the of special interest politics, I would say. But I'm the sorry. amazing part is each one of those issues actually goes after the pipe, the pipe workers. They endorse Biden. He does this. It costs them tens of thousands of jobs. Importing low-skilled laborers going to hurt the minority, especially the black community. All of this stuff with the biological males is going to hurt the suburban, the suburban moms and their daughters' athletic careers. Like, these are the people that voted for Biden. What were you doing? No, no. He's following the orders of his corporate masters, obviously. That's right. Ned, it's great to see you tonight. Right. Thank you.